Pray like a man or a woman from another world. Let your voice be like thunder. As you pray this prayer. Don't negotiate. This is not the time to negotiate. Is that the loudest you can say? Sure, they go to the floor. That wants me to die. Oh, I can go. woman that God has sent to the world he has given you something inside you to make you great but in many situations those things have been stolen or they are sleeping this is why like thunder you will say my inner giant Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. You know what I say? My Father. I am here now. Perfect everything concerning my life. In the name of Jesus. Open your heart and declare it loud and clear. Perfect everything that concerns my life. Perfect everything concerning my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you once again. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you shall do. Thank you for what you will continue to do. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. There are two sisters here. You are actually sitting side by side. Today is the first day at a power must change and service. Unfortunately, all the days of your life up to this moment, you were being followed by strong domestic witchcraft. That witchcraft power even made a mistake by following you here. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. 
para hablar un palo y I want to say it's not possible for you. Oh, do It's already made possible by the power of God. to serve this Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Baba Dupe. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a say God bless you. Please open your Bible to Psalm 138. I have a word from the Lord to all who are gathered here today and all who are listening to this program or watching this program. I'd like, I'd like you to listen very carefully. If I finish this and I'm able to get onto the message, fine. If I can get to the message, the sermon, fine. If not, we stop where we are, I will start praying. Psalm 138, verse 8. I want us to read that one loud and clear. Psalm 138. Amen. Amen. Let's hear all the glorious sisters reading it loud and clear. And the brothers, I want to read. And everybody together now, the Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. The mercy, O Lord, will be done forever. Forsake not the words that I see. There are sixteen prophecies. To be fulfilled in the life of God's people before this year runs to an end. It's not prayer. It's prophecy. Those things will happen before this year runs to an end. And I want to tell you this prophecy one by one. If we stop here, fine. If we can continue, we'll go to the message. Number one. The Lord said, In this year, He will destroy lives for your sake. That is any life that is set out to destroy you shall be destroyed. God told Joseph, Joseph, the father of Jesus, Baba Jesus, said, Take this baby from Israel, Israel. Take the baby to Egypt. Egypt. Until the funeral an obituary of those who want to kill the child has been announced. You can, take, you can take the child back. So Jesus was taken away to Egypt. And after some time, the angel came back again. Said, Joseph, take the child go back to Israel. For those that seek the life of the child are dead. Jesus was taken away. Then the enemies died. God killed them. In a way, Lord, no. 
that no policeman can charge Jesus to court. Because he was not even there. God would destroy lives for your sake this year. And if there is any witch that has sworn that they will not rest until they get rid of you, they shall be buried alive. Prophecy number two. The last thing I should tell you that that strong man that troubled you last year shall never trouble you again. Three. The Lord said I should tell you that you are here it will appear as if nobody has ever progressed in your family life the Lord said you shall be number one the Lord said I should tell you please mark these words that your antagonists they will become your agent of promotion they, they think they are attacking you but all they are doing is promoting you five the Lord said it will move you to that place where evil birds cannot see the evil birds of witchcraft can't locate where you are. Six. The Lord said, Olua This year, Lord, your laughter and your dancing at Jojo shall come. You do. And the gnashing of teeth of your enemies shall manifest. Seven. The Lord said, You will tear the mouth of the lion and recover what the enemy has swallowed from you. Eight. The Lord said he will give you a live jacket to dive into the ocean and recover what the waters have swallowed from your head. Our prophecies for so many people here. Especially for we are in the areas. areas. Number nine, the Lord said, as far as his children are concerned, angels will be released this year in a number they've never been released before to fight their battles. Ten, the Lord said he will embarrass and daze you with uncommon blessings. Eleven, God said I should tell you that he will give you a seat to sit down and decorate you where they say they don't want you. Twelve, the Lord said there will be plenty of overturning and overtaking to favor you. Number the Lord said hopeless cases will begin to experience the real power of God. Fourteen. The Lord said he will open unto you doors of favor and enlargement. Number fifteen. 
the root number 15 the root of all stubborn affliction shall dry up and last but not the least number 16 the powers that do not want you to lift your head they shall be buried alive if you believe that take a song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the king of kings and to the Lord of God thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your word and to your people. For the rest of your word, which never changes. For the rest of your word, Masika Pola Kaya Boshende Rabo Kontia. The Ribo Sobo Nakara Kaya Boshende Thank you, Jesus. For the rest of your word. Before you sit down, go to Joko, go to seven people, and say, My friend, go with your right drag them to court. Well, lovely, I just say to seven persons, We will have an image. God bless you. Our topic is drag them to God. Amen. Amen. Point number one. I want you to listen very carefully to this message which I'm going to abbreviate for you in its form. Point number one is this. God is a judge. The final supreme and absolute judge over all creation is God Almighty. Oni da jo kancho to gaju lo to si loro eke yi lori go po isha ishe da oni o loro o ga o go. There is the court of man. Ili e jo eni o wa. There is the court of the devils. Ili e jo a wen mi e shu wa. There is the court of the Almighty God. Ili e jo o loro o ga o go na si wa. In the court of man, you may employ an intelligent lawyer, a sweet tongued lawyer, and you win. In the court of man, you may even bribe the judge sometimes, and you win. But there is a court that is above all supreme courts. It is called the court of the Almighty God. I want you to understand this very well. One king in the Bible was dragged to that court. 
Let us see what happened to the king that was dragged to the court of the Almighty. In First Kings chapter 22, First Kings chapter 22, a particular, a particular king was dragged to the court of the Almighty God. The name of this king is Ahab. Ahab had married a deficit called Jezebel. And, and Jezebel finished Ahab completely. Jezebel is the Ahab In First Kings chapter twenty-two, verse nineteen, the court of the Almighty had been put together to deal with Ahab. First Kings 22 19. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. First Kings 22 19. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. And all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. At the Lord said, We shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramad Gilead. And one said on this manner, another said on that manner. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. And the Lord said unto him, How? Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth. I will be a mighty spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. Now therefore, behold, the Lord has put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets, and the Lord has spoken evil concerning thee. The the court of heaven had been summoned because this king had caused serious trouble and brought problems to Israel. And the decision of heaven was that they should put a lying spirit in the mouth of all his 400 prophets. And all the founder prophets began to tell lies. When the court of God is against a person, if you run to a prophet, the prophet will tell you lies. What happened to Herb? In verse 37. So the king died. And was brought to Samaria. As he was in Samaria, and they buried the king in Samaria. Was the Siopa in Samaria? End of story. Or up by this way. In Luke chapter eighteen, Luke we read an important story, an important parable by Jesus. In Luke eighteen, Luke we read in Jesus Christ, the Lord. In Luke eighteen, Luke we read in Jesus Christ, the Lord. Verse one. And he spoke a parable unto them to this end. That men ought always to pray and not to faint. Saying there was in the city a judge. Which fear not God, neither regarded man. And I was a widow in that city. And she came unto him praying only one prayer point. Avenge me of my adversary. Can you shout that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Shout it again loud and clear. So there is a court called the court of the Almighty God. There is something known as the courtroom of the Almighty. Woe befalls any enemy that a believer drags to this court. Because once 
the believer drags somebody to that court. Over 20 things could happen to that enemy. The enemies will become enemies of themselves. They will fight and oppose themselves. They will sink in the Red Sea after the order of Pharaoh. They will be destroyed by God's angels after the order of Sinakeru. They will receive angelic slap like Herod received and, and worms ate him up. By the time David dragged Goliath to the court of heaven, Goliath received stones of fire. What befalls any enemy that the believer drags to this court? The way of those enemies will become very cloudy. And they will begin to look for cover where there is no cover. Any enemy that is dragged to that court is seeking for evil substitution. The Lord will just use him to replace things. Any enemy dragged to that court is seeking for compulsory and forceful burial after the order of Korah, Dithan, and Abiram. Any enemy dragged to that court is writing courier letters to confusion like the Tower of Babel. Any enemy dragged to that court is seeking to be pursued by terrifying noises after the order of the Syrians. Every enemy dragged to that court is seeking for bombardment of bad luck. Is seeking to become a prey of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. That enemy is seeking to become a landlord in the valley of defeat. Any enemy that a believer brought to that court is seeking to receive a certificate of occupancy in the desert. Any enemy that to that court is inviting constant sorrow. So one powerful weapon of spiritual warfare that the believer really uses is to drag the enemy to the court of the Almighty. Stand up again and shout at some person, drag them to court. Amen. Amen. A time will certainly arise in your life. If it has not already arrived now, where you have to drag your enemies to the courtroom of the Almighty and have God to issue judgment on them. You should use that courtroom. Just come to that courtroom. That God should render judgment between his friends and uh, Satan. God raised judgment. And Job had to start praying for his friends again. Job this is a very very serious matter I want you to understand it very well when those people were troubling the apostles in Acts of Apostles chapter 4 they dragged them to the court of the almighty 
they drag them to that court. Let us see what happened in Acts chapter 4. I read from verse 23. They ran to that court and reported the enemies at the court of the Almighty. Something is certain here this morning. There is someone here. And you come baby. You will drag your enemies to that court. Oh, we tell them they will never trust you as well. Acts chapter 4. Verse 23. I say get a little good. I'm being let go. But there was a job on one law. They went to their own company. Well, Lord, so do I and reported all that the chief priests and the elders have said unto them. And when they are had that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord. And said, Lord, oh Lord, God. Which has made heavens and earth. And the sea and all that is in them. Who by the mouth of thy servant David has said. Why did the hidden range of the people imagine things? The rulers were gathered together. And the Lord. And against his Christ. They expose us to the fact that Psalm 2 in your Bible is a psalm that drags the enemy to the court of the Almighty. We are going to read that psalm before we start praying now. That's the psalm they quoted. Verse 27. For the truth against the holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, they said, But Herod and Pontius Pilate, and the Gentiles, and the people of Israel, they were gathered together. For to do whatsoever thy hand and thy cancer determine before to be done. Now, verse 29, they now reported them loud and they said, Lord, and now, Lord, behold, they are threatening. He said, Lord, they are threatening us. And grant to the servants. Yes, if you find out, let me speak the word. Let the word be, if you find out, let me speak the word. Stretch it for thy hands to heal. And the signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. The Bible says, and when they had prayed, the place was shaking where they were assembled together. They were praying and the buildings were shaking. There is prayer meeting and there is prayer meeting. And they were all And they speak the word of God with boldness. What was the result? 33. And with great power. Gave it the apostle witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And great grace was upon them. Great power came upon them. Great grace came upon them. Have you wondered why is the enemy so much against me? I will tell you. It is because your name was announced in heaven by God that he has a program for you and the enemy had the announcement before you the enemy is now trying to disqualify you and fight you this is why the wind is blowing and the hurricane is raging
By thunder, by thunder, and by fire. By thunder, by fire, and by thunder. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord of God, Jesus, that God do that. I was a king in this country. Oba kan jeri lori le de yi. He didn't want to be a king. Ko wula ti joba. They begged him to become a king. What be kwe ko wa joba ni? And when they begged him, he told them. He was the one saying be away from all. But I'm a child of God. I'm not going to get involved in your rituals and in your cultism. Neither am I going to marry plenty of wives. I'm only going to retain my only wife. They agreed. And he became a king. Immediately he stepped into that throne. All these chiefs, all the rest began to lay pressure on him. He must offer sacrifice. He must carry calabash. He must marry plenty of wives. They started pressure on him. And they began to harass his life. They began to torment his life. Somebody gave that king a copy of Pray Your Way to Breakthrough. I don't know who gave it to him. So he was praying with it every night. He was praying with it every night. Then it stumbled upon some prayer points. We should pray like no man's business. And as he was going to night and he entered into his bedroom there was a monkey on his bed uh-uh. monkey uh-huh. the king looked at the donkey straight in the eye said whether you are a human being or a spirit or you are an ordinary monkey I command you in the name of Jesus to just remain at attention where you are. While I go to fetch my cutlass. And the monkey could not move. The king went. Got the cutlass. As he moved closer with the cutlass. The monkey spoke Yoruba. Please. Oh, Abajo. He said, So you are a human being. No begging today. Fear. Fire. Cut the head off. And quickly went to the back of the palace and buried it. He didn't know that that particular night five of the chiefs had gathered to destroy him. And they were the one that sent the monkey. And as the monkey died the next morning all five chiefs were dead. You Immediately you drag them to the court of the Almighty. Then you've taken the battles off your hand. The enemy knows that if you fight by your own, you will not win. That Imran says the harm of flesh will fail you. They may be challenging your God now. Take them to that court. Your God shall fight. I've seen the weapon of the enemy backfiring so many times. I've seen God killing people prematurely. I've seen people who have threatened and threatened and threatened God's people they regretted it later. God will pass a sentence from heaven. 
Are they threatened that you will die? Are they threatened that you will eat sand? Are they threatened that you will never marry? Are they threatened that you will never have a child? Are they threatened that you will lose your marriage? Are they blackmailing you? Are they cursing you naked? Drag them to the court. When they are at the court, the serpent they put on the ground will be swallowed by the serpent of the whole world. When you drag them to the court, every fellow that is pursuing you is only hurrying to keep an appointment with death on the Red Sea. There is something the Bible calls negative wonders. The Lord shall send negative wonders against your enemies. And this is a serious situation. And this is why we are here today. Pharaoh pushed Israelites to the Red Sea. And he thought he had won. But you see, the wrath of man, the rage and malice of the demons, can never slay you if God is defending you. Once you stand behind the fighting God, you are above any harm the enemy can bring you away. This is what by the Red Sea, the sentence of heaven sounded, speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. And you learn a big lesson. Man is nothing. God is all in all. Impossibilities shall flee before you. You learn another lesson. God can use the same instrument that saves his people to destroy the enemy. The pastor the rest of the madness of Pharaoh was that he did not know who separated the sea. And he went inside. That's a great madness. Many people are camping by the Red Sea now. You were marching forward before only to find that you can march forward no longer. The door of escape seems to be getting further and further. The nice flower you held before is withering in your hand. You are pursued by witches and wizards who want to destroy you. And you are hearing their battle cry. They are even threatening you that when well, they see how far you go with your Bible. They are claiming that the rain in the world of darkness. Drink them to that court and wash their disgrace. This is a very, very serious matter. A brother was in trouble. He ran all over the place to look for solution. He told me away from me. That the last place he went to they say is the strongest in this country. And at that place when they took him there that he had to walk in with the back. He cannot face them. He had to buy and they say, young man, what brought you here? Say that the enemy, the enemy is pursuing him. Like a... say, Do you know the name of the enemy? Say the mention the name. Because the enemy of this brother was so strong. Every morning that person will knock his door. If the brother says yes, it's okay. Eh? <laughs> so you are still alive. Okay. Every morning. 
Everything the brother was doing scattered. So when he mentioned the name in their meeting, ah, he said, is it that person? Ah, sorry. Maybe no. Even we here cannot help you. So, you are a trouble young man. Don't sort yourself out. That's what brought him to church. That's what brought him to Jesus. He now dragged them to the court. At the court of the Almighty, a sentence came from heaven. The sentence said, Let him go and you die. They refused to let him go. And they all died. The trouble is this. When you want to go to the court, you don't go to a courtroom to a judge in a disorganized state and in a way that you are not it's not planned. Must organize your arguments, organize your reasons, organize what you're going to say. You must report those who are troubling your Israel. So when you want to go to the court of the Almighty, you want quick results. Number one, ensure that your life is fully yielded to the Lord. Surrender your life to Jesus. Number two, give up all your sins. Every sin you are putting your hand in is strengthening your enemies against you. That thing you are doing, you are are saying we are having fun. To God, it's not fun. You are being destroyed. That man that is not your husband that is giving you a peck in the office, let me give you a peck. Peck, 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 peck in your office. You are even gradually destroyed. All those that that man that you are calling your boyfriend, and you are sleeping with the person outside marriage. That's exactly what your enemy wants you to be doing. They know that as far as you are doing that, when you are at the court of the Almighty, and you say, "Oh God, fight for me," you say, "No, you the enemy will say you can't fight for this one. This one is a fornicator." Give up all your sins. Make a decision today. Then, number three, carry out a thorough cleansing of your life to ensure that that's no legal all upon you. Then come to the courtroom by the blood of Jesus. Bring in the reports. Like the apostles did. Look, they are threatening us. And God arose and scattered them. There is a weapon which believers don't generally use. It is called the weapon of the courtroom of the Almighty. Drag those enemies there. Where I want write a petition to heaven against them and watch them scatter completely. There is somebody here today. You will drag your enemy to that court. And they will let you go. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here this morning, and you are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, don't waste time. 
Because we have plenty of prayers to pray. Don't say, but I'm going to church. No, 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 no. Just find a way quickly to the altar here. Just a few at the front and at the altars, I congratulate you. Please bow down your heads now and close your eyes and see what I'm going to say now after me. Say, Father, Baba, say, Father, Baba, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. I know that I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. Beginning from today, I say bye bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of life. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children. You've taken the most important decision in life. I decree that it shall be well with you. The Lord will keep you standing by his power. Write your name in the book of life. And today that you have surrendered the life to Jesus. Any problem in your life is buried forever. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. And take our Bibles as we open to Psalm number 2. And I want you to read Psalm number 2 like the apostles read their own. This is the drag them to court Psalm. Read it loud and clear. Are we there? Everybody in Psalm 2. Clear your throat, clear your throat. Uh-huh. Let's go, let's go. Why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth serve themselves and rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against the Samaritan. Say, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their curse from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, the Lord shall love them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and fetch them in his son special. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord has said unto me, that my son this day have I begotten thee. Out of me, and I will give thee the eating for thy inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a... Read it again, my smell! Now I'm breaking personal. I shall! Verse 10. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed ye just Serve the Lord with fear and the just with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and he perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Amen. Put your Bible down now. Now, with all the strength you can gather. You need to pray this prayer from your heart. <laughs> and I should start praying these prayers. About the prayers, if I want to do it, woe befalls any power that has been sent to harm you. Tomorrow, that is The Bible says, "Say ye to the righteous." He shall be well with him. Say, so, but say ye to the wicked. He shall be ill with him. It was not Dr. Luka that wrote that one. It's in the Bible. Close your eyes now. Did you I'm 
Indonesia. Yes, then. someone in this meeting the person giving you a problem is a white man I see you putting your leg on the head of that person giving you trouble and the person will come to negotiate and to apologize so domestic witchcraft I drag you to the court of the Almighty. Can you shout it Listen. Carefully. That 
that short prayer you just prayed now. I don't know who could have said why. If you know what it has brought out. Aha. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Someone in this meeting now. And you can't even quite do it right. As a position that is supposed to be yours. If you can't wait to your conscience today was given to your enemies but within the next one week there shall be a reversal that's right i there is a man here you come from the eastern part of this country if not for the powers of your father's house you are supposed to be one of the richest men in this country they have been stealing from you since you were born but right there where you are the power of God is coming upon you That's right. Yes. Benny. Yes. Benny. Anyone here in this meeting, Lord? And you can do Benny no body you lua. That is under the control of any fetish power. Anyone here now that has swallowed any poison and the poison is affecting them negatively. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Yes. The poison is coming out. The poison is coming out. You the witchcraft sponsored infirmities. The body of this person is not your tabernacle. You are not supposed to be there. You are a stranger in that body. So come out now. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. In the name of Jesus. Ah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Every sickness on anybody's body, go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. Seven prayers now. To pray very quickly. Because we don't have time. Pray them very quickly. Say, garment of darkness. Of my body. Touch fire. In the name of Jesus. That's it. Deal with the garment of darkness. In Jesus name we pray. Uh-huh. Things are happening. I want to share it. That's right. Arrows fired into my dream life. Oh, for you want to so do I love me. But for you to do I love me. In the name of Jesus. That's right. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Power of environmental covenants. 
Bapana aja aja la du go mi. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the name of Jesus. Kuti aja aja la du go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus name we pray. No look at Jesus la gadura. Opportunity with us. I want to be a family and shuffle. My life is not a privilege. Day. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Do we the opportunity with us. I want to be a family and shuffle. Jesus, then we pray. No, 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 Jesus, not that you are. So, any chain, shaka, shaka, you binding my finances. So, they go sooner, me. Break now, in the name of Jesus. Break the chain. Shaka, 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 no. In Jesus' name we pray. Say the angel. Angel that smote Herod to death. Can you say that out of clear? No, so cool. Can you shout that out of clear? Jesus. That's Jesus name we pray. This is the seventh one. Oracles of my oppressors. Can you shout it loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can shout it? Let the hammer push down against them. Let the hammer push down against them. Name we pray. No, 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 Jesus. Lay one hand on your head. The other one close to your belly button. And let your amen be. This is the second time I'm praying this prayer here today. I, I'm still going to pray a third one. Don't miss any of those three prayers. I'm going to pray that. Let your amen roar like thunder. Say amen louder than anyone can do. In the name of Jesus. inside your courtroom as well. And we drag to that courtroom as in what was in the journal. All the powers threatening our existence. All the power threatening our progress. All the power threatening our marriages. All the power threatening our children. All the power threatening our finances. We drag them to your courts. Let the final judgment. Yes. 
here now and you can do by that just woke up one morning to jilo wo ojo kan and you find that the enemy has shaped your hair to see the god that is fine or anyone here now have you can do what you buy who's here has been taken to the altar of darkness what you pull the lock pe pe okoko and that is affecting them they lose it that one right there where they are if you want what you let your power your kagbara re begin to visit them who be see that one Finances that the enemy has cut off. Go go to to Juno water that it came full. That person over there, and it all along here that is suffering from strange epileptic fit. See, I want it. I want water. Pato she a jiji yole no. That person over there, and it all along here that is struggling with masturbation. Don't la ka ka we looking for under the la la ya. That is struggling with this strong spirit wife and strong spirit husband. Don't give your car the pelo car no tabia ya no la. and it took below you and something is crawling around your body so come walk here are there that person over there and it took below you that you used to try your best for examination but you come up with poor results so man shall give you lock lock on you need to go to the that person over there and it took below you the mark of irritation is upon you see me going that bellala are that person over there and it took below you that the enemy has turned your womb upside down turned your intestine upside down that person over there Whose menstrual pad is now inside a cauldron, a pot. That's your question, and then you know you can. That is not there. And it will be long here that the enemy allows to gather money, but the money scatters. Receive your deliverance, receive your deliverance, receive it, 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 God that answered by fire answer by fire in the name of Jesus every 
and the one you are written in the tablet of your heart shall be answered by fire in the name of Jesus it is well with you you shall trample upon every serpent and stop and upon every power of the enemy by the time you come here for the next power must change you will be a bigger bundle of testimonies thank you in Jesus name we pray put your prayer letter away and stretch forward your two hands again this time around say your amen like a mad prophet say it with thunder your boss. say it in a way that the gate of hell will shake the bible says believe his purpose and you shall prosper every pronouncement I want to make upon your life now must stick to your destiny I stand there once again as your servant and I decree into the womb of this month that it shall favor your children in the name of Jesus this month impossibilities shall flee from before your face Gracious unto you. No weapon form against you shall prosper. It is written that you that the hills will raise up your head. And that comes to her. That comes to the Lord who made us about. Not suffer your feet to be moved. For he that keep at you in us long back. That keep at you strong shall end us long back as good. The Lord shall keep your going and your coming out. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. That God shall have the plague of your car. As you go, it shall be well with you. The Lord will put you in the envelope of fire. In the name of Jesus. Masente Kapola Karaboshe Nera Bakati. Rima Sampila Katende Faya Boshe. Mana Rima Kosefunde Keya Boshe Tera Masantayaba. Any power. Troubling the star of anyone here. I bury that power now. I bury the 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 power now. In the name of Jesus. You are coming here today. Shall be a landmark in your life. A positive memorial to move your destiny forward. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout aloud, hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes, raise our two hands to the Lord and sing this song loud and clear. Jehovah, we praise you. Jehovah, we praise you. We praise your name. We praise
Possibility possible, he made impossibility. The over Jaira, the over Nisi, the over Rohi, he made it. The over Shama, the over Rohi, the over Nisi. Johan, 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 Johan. I've been to Calvary. I did my eyes in the blood of the Lamb. I did the blood of Jesus. And I have been 
I've been to Calvary. I've been to Calvary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My life has been made whole. My life has been made whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My life has been made whole. My life has been made whole. I've been to Calvary. I've been to Calvary. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. Holy Ghost, deliver me by fire. Father, we thank you for tonight. And we praise your holy and mighty name for bringing us here. Thank you, Lord, because we can rely upon your power every day. Thank you for your mighty grace, your mighty power. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, your word says. But the Lord delivers him from them all. He keepeth all his bones so that none is broken. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Tonight, open our understanding. Lay your hands upon us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. As we open our Bible to 2 Kings chapter 18, disgracing your Sennacherib, disgracing your Sennacherib, if you don't know who Sennacherib is, you know him very soon. Second Kings chapter 18. Just a little bit of background. David was the king over Israel. David died and handed over to Solomon. Solomon died and handed over to his son. Then when the son of Solomon was in charge, the kingdom divided into two. So the kingdom of Israel was divided into northern and southern Israel. Ten tribes follow one king. Two tribes follow the other one. After the division of Israel like that, there were 39 kings before they now carried all of them into captivity. Out of all these 39 kings, only about five were good. Only about five were godly. And just like everything in this world, once there is a bad king, the times will be bad. So it's all things in the world, beloved. Once the head is sick, everywhere will be sick. The Bible says, the wicked moves on every side when men of vile nature are exalted. So many of the kings that reigned after David did not know God. But there was one very, very good king called Ezekiah. We take the story from 2 Kings chapter 18 verse 5. Or look at verse 4 to see a little bit of what Ezekiah did. He removed the high places and break the images and cut down the groups and break in pieces the brazen serpent that Moses had made. For unto those days the children of Israel did burn incense to it and call it Nehushtan. He trusted the Lord God of Israel so that after him was none like him among all the kings of Judah nor any that were before him. For he cleaved to the Lord and departed not from following him but kept his commandment which the Lord commanded Moses. 
So Ezekiah was a very good king. The Bible says of all the kings of Judah, none was like him. Because God was behind Ezekiah, his kingdom was strong. His kingdom used to be under Assyria. He rebelled and pulled out. And they stopped sending tributes to them. Now the king of Assyria, called Sennacherib, now wage war against Ezekiah. In verse 28, verse 28, then Rabeshki stood and cried with a loud voice in the Jewish language. And spoke saying, hear the word of the great king, the king of Assyria. Thus said the king, let not Ezekiah deceive you, for he shall not be able to deliver you out of his hand. Neither let Ezekiah make you trust in the Lord, saying, the Lord will surely deliver us. And that the city shall not be delivered unto the hand of the king of Assyria. Here was a man boasting. Ezekiel was paying tributes to them before. He refused to pay tributes. But when Sinakarib now waged war and surrounded Jerusalem, Ezekiel quickly said, okay, 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 okay. I've made a mistake. I will start paying the tributes again. So Ezekiel took all the gold and silver away from the temple of God. Because Sinakarib asked for 11 tons of gold and silver. He gave everything to the man. The man still refused. We take up the story again from 2 Kings 19. The story we are considering today, the lessons there and the prayers there are so powerful that the Bible repeats the same story in three passages. You will find this story in 2 Kings that we are reading now. You will find it in 2 Chronicles. Then you see, find the same story, exactly the same story in the book of Isaiah. The Bible spent 145 verses describing this story. Meaning that there are some lessons he wants us to pick from there. He says, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, the truth shall be established. Second Kings chapter 19, from verse 9. And when he heard, say, of Taka, king of Ethiopia, behold, he's come out to fight against thee. He sent messengers again unto Ezekiah, saying, thus shall he speak to Ezekiah, king of Judah, saying, let not thy God in whom thou trusted deceive thee. Saying, Jerusalem shall not be delivered into the hands of king of Assyria. Behold, thou hast heard what the king of Assyria have done to all lands by destroying them utterly. And shall thou be delivered? Have the gods of the nations delivered them which my fathers have destroyed as Gozan and Haran and Erezepheth and the children of Eden which were in Tesselessa? Where is the king of Hamath and the king of Apad and the king of the city of Sephaphim of Ena and Iva? You can see the threat threatening. But in verse 15, and Ezekiah prayed before the Lord, said, O Lord God of Israel, we dwellest between the cherubims, thou art the God, even thou alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth, thou hast made heavens and earth. Lord, bow down thy ear and hear. Open, Lord, thine eyes and see, and hear the words of Sennacherib, which has sent him to reproach the living God. Of a truth, Lord, the king of Assyria have destroyed the nations and their lands and have cast their gods into fire. But there were no gods but the works of men's hands, wood and stone. Therefore, they have destroyed them. Now, therefore, Lord of oh God, I beseech thee, save thou us out of his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art the Lord God, even thou only. Then Isaiah, the son of Amos, said to Ezekiel, saying, Thus said the Lord God of Israel, that which thou hast prayed to me against Sinakelo, king of Assyria, I have heard. This is the word that the Lord has spoken concerning him. The virgin, the daughter of Zion, has despised thee and laughed thee to scorn. The daughter of Jerusalem has shaken her head at thee, whom thou hast reproached and blasphemed. And against whom hast thou exerted thy voice and lifted up thy eyes on eye, even against the only one of Israel. By thy messengers thou hast reproached the Lord. And I said, with the multitude of my chalice, I have come unto the height of the mountains to the sides of Lebanon. I will cut down the tall cedar trees thereof, and the choice fire trees thereof. I will enter into the lodgings of his brothers, and into the forest of his camel. You can see the threat, the threat, the threat, the threat. But look at what it says in verse 32, to save us some time. Therefore thus said the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, it shall not come into this city. 
nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shield, nor cast a bank against it. By the way that he came, by the same way shall he return, and shall not come into this city, said the Lord. For I will defend this city to save it for my own sake. And for my servants, David said, Then what happened? And it came to pass that night that the angel of the Lord went out. There is somebody here tonight. The angels of the Lord shall go out this night and smite the camp of your enemy. If you are the person, let your amen be loud and clear. That night, night. Why does the angel pick the night? But by that night, they will have slept. They won't have time to pick anything. The angel of the Lord went out and smote in the camp of the Assyrians and hundred four score and five thousand. One eighty five thousand soldiers. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. All the stubborn powers are rising against you. The angels of war shall rise against them tonight. 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 In the name of Jesus. A seven for eleven. So what happened? So Sennacherib king of Assyria departed and returned and dwelt at Nineveh. And it came to pass, as he was worshipping the house of Nisroch his God, that Adramalek and Shareza his son smote him with the sword, and they escaped into the land of Armenia, and Esarhaddon his son reigned in his stead. I've read you just bits and pieces of that story, so you can know who Sennacherib was and what he did. As of the time that this story was written, the Sennacherib was already the king of Assyria, which was a world power. He had wasted all nations. He had even wasted the ten tribes of Israel. The remaining on is this Judah that Ezekiah was king. Sennacherib, his name means sin, sends many brothers. Sin in their language means the moon god. So they are saying that the moon god has sent many brothers. He bombarded Jerusalem. And he wrote down in his own book that I have shut up Ezekiel like a bird in the cage. But there is something he left out in his calculations. And many people are leaving this out in their calculations today. They left it out of their calculations. In Isaiah chapter 40, verse 15, they left that out of their calculation. I want you to understand what I'm saying here tonight. And I'm praying that the Holy Spirit will interpret this in your mind. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 15. He said, Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as small dust of the balance. Behold, it takes up the isle as a very little thing. So God, that's what they are. God can completely wipe out all the armies of the nations of the world in one day. With one angel, he wiped out 185,000 soldiers of Sennacherib. Just one. So, meaning that with less than 5,000 angels, God can wipe out all the armies of the world. There is a spirit called the spirit of Sennacherib. And that is what we are here to battle tonight. He had hedged Ezekiah. He had laid a siege against him. Nobody could go into the city. Nobody could come out. 185,000 soldiers were surrounding the city. He had thousands and thousands of chariots. And he was very boastful. He said, you think your God can deliver you? Those other countries I defeated, don't they have gods they serve? Where do you think you are special that you can get out of it? What is the spirit of Sennacherib? It is the giant enemies. Giant enemies. Boasting against the children of God. What is the spirit of Sennacherib? It is the boasting enemies. Boasting enemies. 
But the last person that said this to me, that's what happened to the person. The person is now eating sand. The person is now mad. What is the spirit of Sennacherib? The enemy that brings great fear. Great fear. The spirit of Sennacherib. What is the spirit of Sennacherib? Is the enemy that energizes desperate prayers. Desperate prayers. What is the spirit of Sennacherib? Is the spirit of what you call the mighty adversary. Intimidating enemies. What is the spirit of Sennacherib? Is the bringer of discouragement. Discouragement. What is the spirit of Sennacherib? Is that spirit that questions God's powers and goodness in people's lives? What is the spirit of Sennacherib? It is the voice of the liar attacking the voice of truth. What is the spirit of Sennacherib? Is the spirit that come, that organizes a campaign of deception. The spirit of satanic propaganda. Just propagating all kinds of things. Launching propaganda all over the place. What is the spirit of Sennacherib? Is the spirit that lays siege against people. They just box the person inside. The family will feel boxed wherever you go. What is the spirit of Sennacherib? Is those enemies with formidable credentials. What is the spirit of Sennacherib? Is the demoralizing agents. Demoralizes people. What is the spirit of Sennacherib? Is the tax collecting enemies. Just start collecting your money. Collecting your money. Collecting your money. Collecting your money. What is the spirit of Sennacherib? Is the prayer mockers. They mock people's prayers. What is the spirit of Sennacherib? They are the prayer challengers. They challenge prayers and bring doubt. What is the spirit of Sennacherib? It is the spirit that engages in ridiculing and insulting our faith. Ridiculing and insulting our faith. What is the spirit of Sennacherib? It is the spirit of mockery. Making fun of God. Ridiculing God in our lives. What is the spirit of Sinakarub? Is that spirit of a well trained enemies, a threatening enemies, confident enemies, armored enemies. That is the spirit of Sinakarub. Enemies with very fearful credentials. The spirit of Sinakarub. Perhaps you are here tonight. Your situation could be described as the situation of Hezekiah. They are harassing you, they are talking about you. They are doing all kinds of things against you. It is for our purpose. This story was written three times in scripture. Three times in scripture. To tell us some certain secrets. To tell us some certain things we must do. To enable us to know that sometimes we are afraid when we should not be afraid. And sometimes God is insulted by the way we address him. God sometimes is insulted by the level of the faith we demonstrate. Sometimes we come to church and we, we behave as if God is dead. Some are even thinking that the enemy is more powerful. And so they say like, well, that they are going to go to the camp of the enemy. Ezekiah was a good king. The first thing he did was that when he took over, he destroyed all the idols of Israel. Even the brazen snake that Moses raised that people were worshipping. He destroyed it. He destroyed all those things. Thereby giving no room for any ladder of the enemy to walk in his life. There are Sinakerubim anchors that strengthens those enemies against us. So wow. the first thing really, if you want to disgrace a Sinakerub, is to ensure that he has no landing space in your life. There are Sinakerub anchors. Somebody raped at a very young age a handle is provided already. Somebody is using kandu to commit fornication. A ladder is laid in place. Somebody eating things sacrificed to idols. A ladder is presented. Somebody cursing himself over a matter for which he is guilty. You have done this. You, are, you did it and you are guilty. And you are cursing yourself. You are placing a ladder in place. Somebody has prayed with the names of angels before. You call Rafa, you call Yuri, you call all kinds of names. Those ones is a ladder. Somebody has used incantation before. 
All those they are ladders. You have slept with your housemates. You have conveyed sacrifices to the crossroads. You have committed abortion, whether by tablet or by surgery. You have presented a ladder. They've cracked eggs on your head. Or they use egg to rub your body and they cast they, they throw it down. You have participated in idol worship. You have eaten with demonic people. You have eaten soup cooked by native doctors, soup cooked by witch doctors. And they have used it to wash away your goodness. You've worn clothes belonging to possessed people. Somebody has taken your underwear away and has brought it back to you and you didn't know and you wore it and there's a problem. You wanted children, so you go to all kinds of strange places to ask for those children. You participate in prostitution, whether academic or crude. All those are anchors that will enable Sinakeribu to wage war and to fight the person hard. The other kings that Sinakeribu defeated was because they stuck to all these dumb idols. He miscalculated and thought the God of Israel was just like that. So you must cut off all the ladders of Sinakeribu from your life. The second thing is to encourage yourself in the Lord. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Because these courage people cannot face Sinakeribu. As far as you are depressed, you are unhappy, you are not, there is no joy of the Lord in your life, you cannot win Sinakeru. The next thing is to pray violent prophetic prayers. The kind of prophetic prayers that the men here prayed. And Isaiah said, He shall not come into this place. He shall not even shoot one arrow here. Say, by the same way in which he came. And by that same way shall he go back to where he came from. The next thing is to seek angelic assistance from the Lord. Ezekiel was a good king. But then there was a problem now. And he had a prophet, a friend, called Isaiah. And that, although the, the credentials of Sinachary was fearful, he had conquered all other nations. He had a terrible and well-organized army. And he had confidence. It was a very bad time for that king. God sat down and watched all these things happening. He was looking at them. Many assorted sinakeribus are surrounding us today. And they are threatening the people of God. Claiming that they have all the power. Claiming that they can do and undo. Claiming that there is no one who can defeat them. Look, beloved. If you follow the simple keys I have given to you here tonight. You will defeat your sinakeribu. You will put them all to open shame. Tonight is a night of just five prayers. Inside those five prayers, the Lord has a lot of assignment to do. And as far as you are serious with those prayers, things will begin to happen in your life. One night, a night that God did not announce, He sent just one angel. Just one. One was enough. That single angel went down and killed 185,000 people. The Bible says some trust in us. Some trust in Chiros. But we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. I'm praying for somebody here. The horses and chariots of your enemy. And they trust in so much. And they are boasting against you. Shall disappear. And you shall see them no more. You shall see them no more. You shall see them no more. In the name of Jesus. In loud amen. Rise up on your feet. All eyes closed. In case you are here tonight. I am not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Better do so very quickly now. So that you can be a participant in the blessing of tonight. All eyes closed. If you want to surrender your life to Jesus tonight, let's see what I'm going to say after. Him. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. All eyes closed. If you are that person here, and your name is Shino. Although they named you Shino, they have made you to miss your way. 
Every step you take is crooked, is wrong. And the enemies are pursued you from pillar to post. In fact, recently you almost died. If you are that person, your name is Shino. Please quietly just find a way to this altar now. Jesus will meet you here at the point of your need. At the point of your need. Now listen, beloved. The prayer I want you to pray now is a prayer that don't allow anybody's voice to overshadow your voice. You must pray it the way you've never prayed before. Please ask for their names. The names must be correct before they can kneel down here. With a loud voice. A voice that no man standing be- beside you can overcome. Can you shout this with holy anger? Oh God that disgrace in our kerub. Arise by fire. Fight for me tonight. Oh God that disgrace in our kerub. my fire fight for me tonight in the name of Jesus open your mouth and decree yes Tonight is tonight. Papapila kateli katanda ka. Barima sapanda ka ya boshanti aka. In Jesus them we pray. Let there be silence. I told you we're here for war. That's right. That sister over there. Listen, listen. There is a stubborn spirit of back. That has vowed that you will not have any joy right there where you are. The talking of that spirit has back, who has become a sinacrib in your life, the one inside your breast is being taken out. The one in the middle of your chest is being taken out. The one inside the womb is being taken out. Let that be silence, beloved. Your days of harassing her is over. Ma pita le katenda rabosa. Teri kasentende ke aboshenta. Every power that has formed an evil covenant with your left leg. And that left leg is giving you stress and problems. Let the fire of the God of Elijah fall upon that left leg now. In the name of Jesus. Silence, beloved. That left leg, the left leg, left leg. It's on fire, it's on fire. It's on fire, it's on fire, it's on fire, it's on fire, it's on fire. The chain that have been binding your hands from making the kind of money that will move you forward is broken tonight. In the name of Jesus. Shout this loud and clear. Angels of death. Spread your wings over my enemies. Can you shout it again? Shout his love. Your voice is not loud enough. In the name of Jesus. 
That's right. Something is up over there. But popular Kateka Santa. The Ribo Sopande Kayabo Shente Rabakayaba. Yes, 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 yes. Louder, louder, louder. In Jesus' name we pray. Those of you at the altar, stretch your right hand towards me here. Father, let your fire of deliverance fall upon these hands that are stretched here. In the name of Jesus, begin to use it to smite your head. Do it, do it 21 times at the altar. At the altar, the one at the altar, do it well. Do it well. Yes, that's a fire, it's coming upon you already. Beginning from today, Lord. Let every power blocking the road of these people be scattered now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We go back to your seat rejoicing now. The hand of God has touched you here tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is someone here. The way you are going to know yourself that you have been kidnapped before and they use all kinds of medicine against you the Lord delivered you then but what they did to you has not completely left your body find a way to this altar that person and be on your knees ushers help me to interview that I am finding the right person angels of war Silence my enemies in the name of Jesus. Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Those of you at the altar here, stretch your right hand towards me too. Father, let your mercy, your grace, and your power overshadow these hands and let every effect of any manipulation, any effect of any hypnotic power be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. With that same hand, slap your belly button area 21 times. Don't be afraid. Something will come out now. Do it well. That's it over there. That's right. That's right. That's the power of God coming upon you. Yes. Father, cause your great deliverance to happen to these your children at the altar. In the name of Jesus. We are in prayer number four. Say idols in the shrine of my enemies catch fire in the name of Jesus say the idols are blessed
Oh, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. Thank you, Jesus. This affair at the altar, you may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I have an information to somebody here. Incidentally, today is your first day in this meeting. The Lord said I should tell you that person that the doors of joy that have been closed against you for years have just been opened now. They were planning your disgrace, but they are the ones who shall be disgraced. Cage of heaven. Box my enemies. Can I hear the sister saying this? The sisters are not praying it hard enough. Let me hear the brothers shouting it loud. There is somebody here. Hmm. If you pray this prayer well, within three days, the powers that have been making you to cry shall be crushed to pieces. Open your mouth and pray the prayer. Basapiali katandaka. Jesus. Continue, continue, continue. Jesus. Let your power begin to move. Let your power begin to move. Let your power begin to move. Yes. Roar! Box my enemies. In Jesus' name we pray. As we were praying that prayer, a strange word from heaven came for somebody. I don't know you here. The lesson I should tell you that your assassinators shall be assassinated. Yes. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. A seven for the man. Close your eyes where you are. Tell the Lord that I shall arise in a new way this year and shine in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree your shining.